ba 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 Nation, thanks for coming to this video. It is a Philadelphia special video. It's a very special video only because I'm bringing you a food that is well known in the Philadelphia area, and that is the Philadelphia soft pretzel. Well, I'm kind of close to the soft pretzel. I already showed you the cheesesteak uh, in an earlier video when I bought 125 cheesesteaks. This is the Philadelphia pretzel dog though. So it's a take off on the soft pretzel. They take a soft pretzel, wrap it around a hot dog, and then they, they bake it. So it's, it's like uh, instead of a normal hot dog bun, it's a soft pretzel. So this, I'll show you guys what this is all about so you can see a Philadelphia food favorite. There's Dave over there. Look, he's ready. How many think you're gonna eat? I'm going for 20 or 25. 20 or 25? So how many, how many are you gonna eat? 30, 40? Try 20. 20? Holy yeah. smokes. I hope these guys are ready in there. <laughs> all right, what do you think, Dave? Six. Six? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, were you excited I'm to see? To, I'm trying to keep up. 25 and 30. I mean, the pretzel dog eating contest. The winner is the person that eats the most pretzel dogs in 10 minutes. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. As you can see, the contest has just started, and I want to address something right off the bat. This is an eating contest, not an at-home eating video. So if you're allowed to dunk during an eating contest, I absolutely always dunk. So I'm putting the pretzel dogs in cups of water, try to soften them up somewhat, so when I go back to them, they'll be a little bit easier for me to eat, hopefully. And these are actual hot dogs, and you can collect to say they're covered in cheese and then covered in the soft pretzel. So they're good sized hot dogs, and typically you should be able to eat a hot dog very fast, but the outside covering makes this a little bit slower than the normal hot dog bun. You can see that this is a very small eating contest, just a local contest, and they were not expecting Dave and I to be in the contest. So at this point, I don't think they know who Dave and I actually are in the eating world. So we're already out of hot dogs. I think they were probably predicting someone to eat 10 hot dogs over the course of the 10 minutes, which would be a very good number if it was just a local contest. So, obviously they had to run back in the store and get us some more hot dogs. When I saw the second plate come out, I knew from my years of experience that, that was a different number of hot dogs. There's many more than six on the second plate. My concern was, we're gonna be eating these hot dogs with no way to really track how many we got. So that's why I was questioning if people were tracking us and how they were tracking us so they would know what the score was as it was going along. I've learned to always have a general understanding of what number I, I'm on during a contest, and that way I can touch base with my counter or whoever's running the contest to see if we're close in number. There's been times where I might have been three or four hot dogs or units ahead of somebody else in a contest, but if they have my score artificially low and the other person's artificially high, just through accidental counting, I need to then eat more to make sure I get the win. We're about two minutes into this contest and I think I've already eaten more pretzel dogs than the story anticipated the winner to eat in 10 minutes. Now I think I can give you a little background on what this contest was about and why I'm not wearing my VOB shirt. I found out about this contest the night before, so midnight, the night before this contest, I saw it posted online. It looked like it was going to be a very, very small contest. I was aware of other contests that were happening in the United States, and I determined that there's probably going to be no other professional eater to show up for this contest. I decided about to train or prepare, because I wasn't planning on being in the contest. It was kind of a last minute thing. And since no one was going to be there, I didn't really care. I figured I'd just be able to walk in, eat maybe four or five hot dogs, smile to the crowd, just be incognito, and take the victory. But when I got there, I found out another top-ranked professional eater, Dave Brunelli, came with the same idea I had. He wasn't prepared for the eating contest, but he just assumed it would be an easy victory. And this is what professional competitive eaters do. They find these small contests, and just you know, go and just not even really try that much and win the contest. 
when I say we're not trying, it's we don't go there to try to eat 30 or 40 hot dogs. We go there just to try to eat enough to win, to try to supplement our income, or, you know, take the family out to dinner that night, something like that. When Dave and I saw each other, you know, we laughed and we realized that we made a mistake. We usually try to communicate these things beforehand, who's going where, just so we don't bump into each other and we can make sure all the contests are covered with professional eaters. So that's why I'm not wearing my shirt. I was not hired to entertain or publicize this contest. I'm just trying to go in as a normal citizen, have some hot dogs, win a prize, and head home. I think the store was doing a great job of running this contest. They were doing the best they could with what they thought they were getting into. They had no idea that the number two and three ranked independent eaters in the world were gonna show up at this small local contest and eat as many hot dogs as we did. So they're trying to keep up. But the issues I was having with this is not a store issue, it's just when they brought out the new hot dogs, they were actually hot because they were they were just cooked. So I went from having dunking the, the hot dogs pretzel dogs in the water to make them softer to dunking them in the water to make them cooler because they were so warm. At this point in the contest, I thought that it, I had a little bit of a lead over Dave, so I was feeling comfortable, but I was questioning what my score was and what Dave's score was. I wasn't exactly sure if the, if the counts were spot on, so I think we ate some of these hot dogs way faster than they were expecting it. And if you just look away at some points early on, you know, we, we could have eaten a hot dog and not gotten credit for it. It turns out both Dave and I were wondering what our score was at the same time. Dave was tapping on the table just a second ago, asking his judge what the score was because he was questioning his score. And I'm asking my judge what they have my score to be. Uh, compared to where I think I should be. And we're both trying to figure out, you know, what we should do in this contest. Because there's only one real prize in this contest, it's for first place. And sometimes you get to a point where you question, you know, do I really want to eat 25 hot dogs to not get a prize? And it's something that goes through all the eaters' heads during the contest, if there's not a significant prize that you're competing for. Right now, Dave is going to ask me where I'm at, so he knows what he should do with the rest of this contest. I ask my judge, and they tell me 17. Actually, I'm done 20 hot dogs right now. It's just we ate them so quick they were behind in the camp. I asked Dave what number he had finished so far, and he was trying to figure that out himself. He was calculating how many hot dogs he ate, and I think he told me afterwards he thought he was on 16. And uh, when he asked his judge, they thought he was done 14 hot dogs. So he was doing the math again and questioning the judge again, and they were pretty certain he was on 14. Again, it's just because we ate so quickly in the beginning, uh, they weren't prepared for top level eaters. After seeing where the other eaters at the table were, Dave understood that he was gonna have second place locked down no matter what he did. So he made the decision to stop eating and allow me to have first place uncontested because of the gap I had between our scores. This is something that a lot of the top level eaters do. If you're not gonna uh, be able to get yourself in a position to get a better prize, there's no need just to eat a ton of hot dog. Dave and I offer each other congratulations on another good contest between us. We've had a lot of battles between the two of us. We're just going to sit out the final couple minutes of this contest until it's over. Thanks for coming to another one of my videos and stay tuned for a little bit here at the end. I'm Ethan Rye with the Philly Pretzel Factory Blue Belt. We just celebrated our 10th birthday with this guy eating 19 pretzel dogs, which is a record, as far as I know, for uh, Philly Pretzel Factories, which is awesome. And congratulations again on winning our. Uh, 10th birthday celebration there. Thank Thanks you very for much. having me. All great right. story. You have, you have a lot of great employees here. Thank you. It must be easy to come to work every day. Sometimes, yeah, all the time. <laughs> Absolutely. That part's easy. <laughs> we just finished the contest. I mean, uh, it's a happy day because I got to see my buddy Dave. He always puts a smile on my face. He's got a great, <laughs> great background, great story. I'm trying to get him to do his own YouTube channel. Doesn't have it yet. Someday it will, and I'll do a collab.
already done other, other videos with him, but we want to get him started on YouTube. So I'll let you know what that is now. You, I, I know you will because you've taken me down many a time. He's a real eater. Thanks for coming to another video. See you guys again soon.